you back there. Are you ready? Yes! Excellent. Then it is my pleasure to welcome to the stage Angie, with a Y, and Zuzu. <laughs> Um, and 
that was super fun because it's super fast paced and it looks the best. <laughs> <laughs> no bias. It, it looks the best. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How about Air How did that? What did that one be off of? Uh, that was uh, Bob uh, and the Bush. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, I love the idea of just what what. Um, all of the expectation that was riding on this and how everybody went into this just very like bated breath. And then what we got was this fantastic show where expectations were kind of the main theme, it felt like. It was what does everybody expect these characters to be and then what do these characters forge on their own? So is there anything that you guys brought to the characters that you feel like is your signature that really makes it yours? Thanks, <laughs> Alice. Uh, I think for my Zuko, it was the unintentional sass. <laughs> you know, I promise every take was not like that. It was certainly the editor's choice. Uh, but I'm glad that it went that way. Um, I think it made Zuko um, a lot more girl boss. <laughs> by his father, like all of that I think sort of took, uh, had a major role into um, why Zuko is being in his inner series. Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your signature move, bro? <laughs> and just doing a ton of backflips. <laughs> <laughs> Every single fight scene you hit at least two. <laughs> I don't remember that from the animated series. <laughs> that was just something they stood in the back and said, what are we going to make him do? <laughs> and I think, I think Zuko in our live action is a lot more loving towards uh, Uncle Iroh compared to the animated series. And so I think that uh, for, for me it was a lot easier just because of, I, I can relate to that in my own fam familial relationships and I, I think the way that you know Zuko supported Uncle Iroh and Uncle Iroh supported Zuko it felt very real to me. And so that was you know a relationship that I I developed with Paul in real life. And so, like Zuko, I was complaining about how I, you know, what didn't like the taste that I did, and I don't know why I'm acting the way I'm acting, and I just want to be better and good and <laughs> good Zuko, you know. And so he took care of me. He was, uh, his shoulder was um, something that I leaned on quite often, actually. You take the park wheel! <laughs> Let's go through like the Avatar Last Airbender season one yearbook. Okay. Who gets the who gets the class clown award? Who gets the prankster? Who gets the team leader? If anyone doesn't say Sokka, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he yeah, absolutely deserves that award. Um, yeah, Ian, Ian is not only like the funniest person in the show, but he's certainly the funniest person. I got to live with him for a year, and so honestly, it felt like he was writing jokes in his head every day. <laughs> that guy is like actually, he's like a creative genius, it's insane. That's awesome. Yeah. He was actually like, he was actually writing his own jokes for the show, and some of them actually made it to the cut, which was really impressive. Yeah. Oh, wow. And do you guys have any have, have any uh, desire to branch into those, type, those parts of the business, like be more into, into the um, writing or directing or the choreography of it all? Where do you see yourselves? Uh, I've actually been trying to convince just any random person on set to let me in the writer's room for like the final episode of season three. Because I feel like having the whole cast show up as writers 
on the last episode. I think it'd just be so cool. If they would let us do it, it'd be dope. I don't think they would. Since <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have any writing experience. I think you can. But, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah, what would you have to say? Like, what would you want to contribute? I mean, the ending series, like, it's so open. I can all not. <laughs> I can really open it up and change everything. <laughs> what? The avatar doesn't succeed? <laughs> Sokka kills almost all. <laughs> what? Spoiler, is everybody in the party? Good, okay, we got it. Like, a shot of Aang and Ozai, like, Sasuke and Naruto. <laughs> Just 
feel like you, there's a lot to work with with the fire and the meat, so.
all Same. in your life <laughs> is, a, is basically a tear vendor. That you can drop tears <laughs> left at will. Um, the second one was obviously Agni Kai with Daniel Day Kim. Mm -hmm. And then the third was after the Agni Kai and seeing um, Zuko receive punishment from his dad. Thank you. Please keep fighting to get the right issue. I will. What's up, bro? What is your favorite thing about being on the cast of Avatar? Uh, I feel like just the cast and everyone I get to work with in general. It's really amazing. It's something I'm really grateful for because I would hate to be on a TV show where you do not like your castmates. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we're really lucky that we can all come on. Yeah. I think for me, it's obviously being a firebender. <laughs> Period. I think, um, you know, the, the original series left such a big impact on me when I was your age. And, you know, I continuously watched it as I got older. And I feel like every time I watched it, I learned something new. And that's something that I think all of us are hoping to do for your generation and the one after. You know, I want to, um, I just want to do my best to, you know, leave an impact with this job that I was. Um, presented in front of you, and I think with um, our cast, our team behind the series, I think it's certainly possible. Bye. Yeah, it's bye. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, to do Memphis's um, death and live action. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again. Enjoy the convention. Thank you so much.